Welcome to Electron Line, and here we see an example of how to draw a straight line. The equation is 5x equals minus y plus 2. Now, first of all, we want the equation to be in the format y equals mx plus b, m being the slope, b being the y-intercept. You can see clearly that's not the case in this, in, uh, in this example. So we want to rearrange the terms, bring the y over to the left side, the 5x to the right side. When we do that, remember, whenever we cross the equal sign, the sign changes. That means this becomes a positive y equals a minus 5x, and the plus 2 stays the same, stays on the right side, doesn't change. Okay, now we have it in the correct format. y equals mx plus b. Minus 5 is the slope, 2 is the y-intercept. Now we draw the y-x axis. So here's our y-axis, here's our x-axis, and we find the y-intercept. So always start with the y-intercept. In this case, that's the the number is 2, and it's the place where the line crosses the y-axis. So we find that point, 1, 2, it's right there. So that would be the y-intercept. Okay, that's the easy part. Now we want to find the slope. Remember, the slope, by definition, is the rise divided by the run. In this case, it is equal to minus 5, and it's better to write as minus 5 over 1. If it's not already a fraction, just turn it into a fraction, which makes it easier. Now notice, the rise is a negative number, which means instead of rising, it's actually falling. So starting from the intercept, we fall, it's, that's a negative rise, 5 units. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that would be 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So when we drop 5, or fall 5, we're down at negative 3, and then we run 1, we go 1 to the right. So 1 to the right, which is right there. That's x equals 1, and there's our second point. If we now connect those two points, we have ourselves a straight line that represents this equation right there, or this equation, of course, in a different format. Notice the number on the top is fairly large. That means it's a steep slope. Negative means it's sloping downward, and so there you can see that this represents a drop of 5 and a run of 1, drop of 5, run of 1, drop of 5, run of 1, and that's how we graph straight lines no matter what the equation looks like, always change it into this format first, y equals mx plus b, find the intercept first, and then work on the slope. Write the slope in terms of a fraction. If it's a negative number, it's downward slope, positive number, it's an upward slope. Find the rise of the run, go up or down, the number of units, and then take the run, which is to the right, however many units you have in the denominator. And that's how we graph straight lines.